Mini hammocks, kite tube, and lawn darts. These are 10 toys that were banned for being so dangerous. Number 10. CSI Fingerprints Examination Kit With about 6,100 toy-related emergency treatments since 1978, you'd think fairly modern toy manufacturing companies would take safety measures seriously. Well, you thought wrong. The CSI Fingerprints Examination Kit crime scene lookalike toy modeled after the popular CBS crime show and released in 2007 is an example of one such hazardous toy. The toy allowed kids to slip on latex gloves and collect playtime crime scene evidence by dusting for fingerprints. Fun, right? Wrong! The fingerprint dust contained 7% of one of the deadliest asbestos chemicals, tremolite. Talk about occupational hazards. The asbestos chemical could give you asbestos in your lungs through one single exposure and was discovered by a test examination conducted on six to eight samples in five months. The scare this knowledge would give parents. The company recalled over six million of the products off shelves, but it must have already done its damage. Number 9. Aqua Leisure Baby Floats Babies and waters are kindred spirits. They splash in it, toddle in it, and release it right on their bodies or under their pants. So what could be better than a toy that allowed for an irresistible mommy blog, wonderful pictures, and an actual usage in water? The Aqua Leisure Baby Boats were therefore seen as an adorable godsend. These so-called leisure boats turned into near-drowning nightmares pretty quickly, as they could not do the one thing they were made for, keeping babies afloat. The poorly made plastic contraption used for holding the babies in place tended to rip apart more often than not, causing children to fall right through them and into the water. They probably didn't appear so leisurely anymore, with parents frantically trying to save their babies from drowning. It was pulled off the market, and manufacturers were fined $650,000. Luckily, no fatalities were recorded. Number 8. Sky Dancers Dolls For this spot, let me introduce you to a toy that gave kids eye injuries, broken teeth, skin lacerations, and even temporary blindness. The Sky Dancers Toys, a line of doll toys released in 1994. They were mounted on a decorative spinner base with cords attached, while the dolls themselves were fitted with foam wings. When the cord is pulled, the dolls launch into the air like a helicopter in a surprisingly fast spin of spiral dance. That is a beautiful display, only that they're pretty much out of control and shoot off in different injury-causing directions. After a recall action was released against the toys, Galoob, the manufacturing company, had to withdraw 9 million of them in less than 6 years after the release. Interestingly, the Skydancer Dolls has made a complete comeback after its 22-year limbo and is being released by Kmart for $20. If you think these were dangerous, things are about to get way more dangerous. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Snap Bracelet This particular toy, popular in schools' playgrounds, must have made teachers mad and given them a scare. You would think most kids wouldn't care about a slap bracelet, but you would be so wrong. Simple but effective, the snap bracelets were popular in schools throughout the 90s and are made of spring-loaded metal bands wrapped in colorful animal print plastic covering, which would snap into place like a real bracelet when it's straightened and slapped hard against the wrist or around the neck. When the knockoff versions were released, they caused a number of major problems by slicing through their cheap covering and cutting into kids' flesh. After the knockoffs were investigated and taken off shelves, the danger did not go away like you'd believe. Several other cuts introduced were reported, and one unlucky little girl had her fingers cut off, prompting immediate ban from schools and most probably from homes too. It made a comeback in 2012. Talk about bullheadedness. But it was again recalled by the manufacturers for the very same reason. Number 6. Rollerblade Barbie You can't go wrong with Barbie toys. These perpetual 19-year-olds can do anything from having magical powers to running for president. Now, they can even skate, and not just on TV, but right next to you. Released by Mattel in 1991, the roller skate's design was unique for its LED lights feature found on its wheels that flashed when rolled. Some describe the flash as lighter sparks. The rollerblade dolls sent out sparks when used on a flat surface, sparks that could cause a fire, and it did. In Jackson, Mississippi, one mother reported that after her little girl sprayed the toy with an air spray and innocently rolled it across her brother's body, her clothes immediately caught on fire. Luckily, the burns were not serious. Soon after and following similar incidents, Mattel immediately recalled all released products and unsold ones off the shelves. Number 5. Snack Time Cabbage Patch Doll Okay, so how about an adorable looking doll that can actually be fed? 
The Snack Time dolls mimicked a real chewing action. Due to its motorized mechanism, which allowed kids to feed their plastic doll fries and other plastic treats, they had a major problem though, as their powerful jaws would not stop chewing until the treats in their mouth were finished, even fingers and hair. A kid got her hair into the mouth of her doll, and since it doesn't come with an on and off switch, the hair on the back of her head got pulled out by its roots. Ooh. A parent even had to destroy the doll to get her kid's finger out of the doll's mouth. Broken fingers, the promise of bald hair, and the scare it gives both parents and children caused it to be recalled. Thankfully, it doesn't present life-threatening injuries. Number 4. Austin Magic Pistol Maybe you can become a hero just like in the movies. A toy gun that had a real explosive agent called calcium carbide, a chemical that causes it to have a huge explosive reaction when mixed with water. The Austin Magic Pistol also known as the Magic Pistol, was released in the late 1940s and designed to release ping-pong-sized balls from its mouth and can shoot up to 70 feet with incredible speed. Kids could shoot it themselves, getting injured, and how about all the people in the areas around this toy? Maybe during a family picnic or at a kid's playground? This scary possibility in the toy's ability to explode on itself and splinter into bits, scorching the wrist while still creating a huge fireball made them such dangerous toys to be owned by kids. It was banned by the government which considered it an actual weapon. Its brief appearance on the market is such a relief since no serious incident occurred. Starting now, things get even more serious. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. Lawn Darts How about a game of darts for kids? Don't leave all the fun for the adults, please. Though not as pointed as its regular counterparts, its tip is sharp enough to stick into tender flesh. The 12-inch long metal comes with a really heavy tip that could stick into the ground when pulled with enough force. Of course, kids play rough and could point the shooting darts at delicate body parts of their playmates, like the eyes and the ears, which can cause blindness or ear trauma. Now that's dangerous. By the late 1970s and early 1980s, the threat posed by these dart toys had caused three lethal accidents and had parents everywhere calling for their ban, as its potential to cause lethal injuries became increasingly obvious. From 1978 to 1987, hospitals recorded a boost in business as emergency rooms were always packed full, as over 600,000 injured kids were being constantly brought in for treatments. It was finally banned and pulled off the market in 1988 after reports of all 6,000 injuries were made. A recall action was then issued against it by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Number 2. Kite Tube This threefold play toy heaven was every kid's dream of a happy seaside playtime. This toy sporting a three feet wide kite, attached and pulled by a boat rider on a cord, the kite could fly in the air. As nice as it looks and amazing as it sounds, no one took into account that the flying tubes were not in control when airborne. Thus strapped in, kids were left at the mercy of the wind and the boat rider. Having only stirrups and hand grips for safety measures, the kite could fly as high as three-story building, causing out-of-control landings onto such buildings, into any object around and into the sea. Even when its packaging came with a bold letter warning that said, never kite higher than you're willing to fall, it still got the ban and recall action issued against it. That only happened when two people passed away and 12 others were severely injured. You might want to stay on the ground with your feet firmly planted in it now to fall with control. Number 1. Mini Hammocks Little Peter wants a hammock just like daddy's own, and one of daddy's friends who needed the money worked at a toy company. Bam! In came the mini baby hammock. Smaller in size than its regular counterparts, it was a cozy springtime afternoon spread, made without spreader bars that could keep them open. Their lightweight nylon mesh measuring 7 feet wide and 6 feet long and were fitted with nylon ropes at each end for fasteners. It was sold in the early 1990s, after which the CPSC received reports of 17 children who were choked while trying to get in or out of their hammocks. One kid was reported to have suffered brain damage after waking up from a coma caused by a choking incident in a hammock. The Consumer Product Safety Commission issued a ban and recall action against this toy in 1996 after 12 people passed away. The recall action better give a headache to all tiny mini hammock manufacturing companies and make large holes in their pockets. Just give me a regular bed, please. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.